Hi, today I'm uh, doing a video uh, on a photo shoot for eBay, uh, modelling a few clothes and uh, so you get to see me try on a few clothes similar to my 80s fashion but of course this one is uh, sort of some more modern fashions and uh, I'll be, uh, might even change the skirt, I've got a, um, something else as well to go with another top so you'll see that uh, coming up and uh, so anyway I hope you enjoy uh, the video. <laughs> First uh, item I'm modelling is this blouse, uh, light blue satin blouse by uh, Damart. And uh, so I'm going to just take a few uh, photos of this and uh, then I've got a few more items to do as well. So hopefully you'll see uh, quite a few items in this video. And I try different sort of poses uh, and things and different styles. I have the blouse out so you can see it from the back and the front. And then I took it in uh, to uh, just to uh, show what it looks like um, sort of, uh, in a sort of slightly more formal uh, look. And uh, so, yeah, so I'll do this on uh, all the items uh, that I'm modelling. So, of course, uh, hopefully, I'll just do the highlights for you. <laughs> Of course, I do the pose with the uh, glasses as well to give it like a sort of secretarial look, and uh, so that always seems to people seem to like that. And uh, so yeah, it gets you hot under the collar. <laughs> So I kind of like pre-focus the camera so to about this point here and uh, it uh, kind of like then if you could write an autofocus it might focus on you when you're standing here sort of thing pressing the shutter button on the camera and of course you don't want that so you just set the uh, lens on manual focus and you pre-focus on the point where you're going to know where you're going to stand and uh, then you can run back uh, or walk back and uh, not a good idea to run your heels and uh, walk back and you sort of stand roughly level with this and now I've got enough depth of field in the camera to actually um, sort of make sure that I'm in focus uh, in this and of course the flash I've set uh, I could uh, not enough room to set up lots of studio flash around here so I'm just relying on the one flash with a diffuser and uh, so anyway we'll go on to the next item so this blouse is by Mark and Spencer and uh, it is sort of like an oriental uh, sort of Chinese inspired uh, sort of style blouse with the uh, sort of loop uh, buttons uh, on here and uh, so and it's uh, yeah, sort of a very nice sort of satin blouse again and uh, this one is a size 14 so um, I think they're a bit smaller than Denmark blouse uh, there but of course it's various sizes I have to do different sizes of course for um, uh, because the, you know, different sizes sell on eBay and of course some blouses can look really huge on you and some can look a little bit tighter although I can get, I mean size 10 and 12 is, um, I get into uh, most 10s and 12s now and uh, so which is really good but um, of course you get some blouses that look kind of really sort of like a huge sort of thing and, uh, on you and, uh, but then again the baggy looks can come in and look really good anyway so we'll get on to this one
again when I put pictures on eBay, um, I don't usually show my uh, face because they um, uh, just generally I'm just modelling sort of thing. So I'm um, just kind of modelling the outfit uh, rather than actually um, sort of doing a kind of like um, sort of me as uh, in full top to bottom modelling, of course, and uh, because you just want to show off the the item rather than. Um, uh, that's what all you need to do really, because you're just saying that's what you're saying, of course. Yeah, I'll just check in the uh, screen there. I'm just checking I've got my hair right, of course. And uh, so yes, that's uh, so yes. This blouse is um, by Debenhams, and uh, it's got a, a nice sort of tight waist. Here, so I won't be tucking this one into the skirt. Um, I don't think it'd look a bit odd, I think, tucking that in and having the belt there, of course. And uh, but this is like a, again another satin blouse, sort of stripy uh, fabric. If I come a bit closer, you might want to see. Um, and uh, this one's like a sort of black, and I think it's a, it is a sort of silvery white colour. It is um, sort of thing. So, but uh, I'll just list this as black uh, blouse. And uh, anyway, so on to the shoot. And again, I have a few seconds, uh, if you notice, time of display uh, on the camera because that gives me time to actually get back and line up, of course. And uh, right, so do the next one. Feet are going to be chilling after this uh, in his heels, and uh, try to remember to look at that camera, not uh, that one when I'm doing the shoot. And uh, so, I we'll do one with the glasses. And, uh, So a little bit uh, nice and it with the glasses, very secretary uh, looking. And uh, so, yes, that's uh, and do the last one for this one. Right, so on to the next one. So again, we have another Marks and Spencers uh, blouse here, uh, and this one's a camel coloured, um, or kind of a light brown, really, I suppose. Um, but uh, of course, camel sounds a little bit better than maybe brown, uh, perhaps or light brown. And um, but it's, yeah, it's kind of a, it's another so soft satin blouse, and uh, we'll go in there first. Of all. Also, actually, fasten the uh, collar uh, so people can see what it's like um, when the, with the collar fastened, of course, and then open it up and you can see what it looks like, sort of more casual as well. So it kind of gives a few different looks um, to the item. Yeah, I've got the camera set up on quite a wide angle setting, so of course um, uh, that way uh, it allows for any leeway. I know I've got the rail here, of course, but uh, I've just got a little bit of leeway, um, and uh, I've set the um, the aperture and everything in manual, um, so it's just been an aperture all set to manual on the camera as well, of course. Um, so that way um, the settings are all consistent throughout the, uh, the um, photo taking. Yeah, I try to lift my neck a little bit. Sometimes you slump and you think, oh, I shouldn't have done that. It's always good to try and 
just lift your neck up a little bit as well uh, when you're modelling uh, clothes. Again, I have another camel coloured blouse uh, and also Marks and Spencers as well. This one's a size 10, so it's a little bit uh, smaller. That's uh, okay. And got these uh, sort of bangles on as well, of course, which just kind of um, add to the uh, effect, sort of dressing up a little bit. This blouse is uh, by New Look and it's like a sort of satin uh, type fabric and it's got a sort of a uh, textured uh, floral pattern on it and uh, a slightly sort of slightly crinkly um, look uh, to it and uh, it's quite soft actually to wear and uh, quite a nice blouse and uh, ideal for a party season coming up. One good thing looking into the screen here is uh, uh, on the um, the use of my phone as a um, to do the video on this one, and uh, it's a you can see uh, myself a uh, slightly bigger screen than on the camera, and uh, so I can see a little bit better what I look like. And uh, actually, with this this blouse might go well with hmm, actually, you know what. I think I might actually put these on, these uh, PVC uh, shorts. I think these would go actually quite nicely with this. So let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think uh, this is a better look than this skirt uh, for certain items maybe? And uh, maybe not for going to the office of course, but uh, anyway, let's do, uh, let's do redo this uh, with the... Uh... So do you think this is a, a great party season look? Um, so yeah, let me know. Do you like this look? And um, so I think it looks quite good. Um, I know some people prefer skirts, and uh, but I think the PVC shorts they seem to be quite fashionable uh, at the moment. And uh, just give my hair a comb. Of course, and two bit of glasses as well, of course. What do you think? And uh, do you like this look? This blouse is a sort of Tynec uh, animal print blouse and it's by QED London and uh, so it's got a really nice, it's got a stretchy um, elasticated waist and it's got a sort of lining uh, underneath as well, it's just um, it's really soft and silky uh, and uh, this blouse I'm sort of almost reluctant to put this on eBay, I don't know, do you think I should keep this blouse? And uh, so yeah, this is really nice, uh, really nice to wear and great again for party, um, does it go with the shorts do you think? And uh, so that's uh, just that sort of a, like a party season look. And uh, so anyway, let's do some photos.
I think that looks rather good. I think. Just hope I don't get demonised on YouTube for doing this. And uh, so yeah, I just hope you really like the looks. Good and with the glasses, we'll see. Last one in this blouse. Still got plenty of charge on the uh, camera, and uh, I've got my phone actually plugged into the mains as well, um, because it might drain the battery down. Especially uh, the video is filmed in 4K, but it'll probably uploads in uh, HD, of course, with the bandwidth. And um, but anyway, so on to the next uh, clouds. Again, another party top here, uh, so a nice black uh, satin top, and uh, I think yeah, again, I think this goes quite well with these uh, shorts. I think uh, so it's uh, ideal for a night out and um, going for a party and uh, yeah definitely black is always great in the evening. Uh, I think this top I think it looks better out I think than tucked in I think so I'll leave it out uh, and uh, do the Again, when you've got uh, sort of you know, sleeveless top um, like this, uh, again, having things like bangles and things kind of gives you something uh, so you haven't got just bare arms. Uh, I think so, that looks uh, quite a good look. So I know there's lots of like sort of uh, backwards and forwards in this video, of course. Um, uh, of course, obviously, I'm tracing back. Hopefully, I'll cut out all the, the um, little bits in between, of course, and you don't see me get changed, of course, because that definitely would uh, throw me off YouTube. Uh, I don't think they'd like to see your underwear. I know maybe some of you naughty lot would, perhaps, but uh, yeah, so I think, um, but definitely, uh, yeah, we've got, we've got to be trying to keep this decent for YouTube, anyway, at least. And uh, so, Next uh, this top is uh, by Next and uh, it's a size 20, hence it's quite large on me uh, sort of thing. So, um, but uh, yeah, it's sort of satin top, a sort of green um, top here and uh, it's got this sort of tie uh, neckline on there and uh, it's um, kind of like elasticated sleeves and uh, kind of like the, like the sort of crinkle uh, look. So it's in very casual uh, as well. You could wear this with a pair of jeans, of course. Um, you, can, you can wear it to a party or the office, of course. And uh, so it's quite a versatile top, I would think this is. And um, so yeah, so I hope, hope you like this top. Large on me, so of course, um, but yeah, you kind of make it sort of um, flare out a little bit there, and yeah, I think this works quite well. This top does.
works is I think that's a secretary blouse. Uh, well, we'll see anyway in the photos. <laughs> Do one of this, so I think this works quite well like this as well. So, hands in pockets. So, again, this is a little bit more of a formal uh, blouse, um, again, ideal for the office. So, I've just changed my skirts uh, a little bit, although it's probably again. Is this skirt too short for the office? Um, maybe not, it depends on what your boss likes, of course. And uh, don't want to be sexist there, but uh, you never know. Your boss could be male or female. So, and anyway, so you never know. And uh, so, yeah, these days, uh, anything goes, as they say. And uh, right, so that's uh, difficult. Uh, what I wanted to do first of all, but I'll tuck it in. I actually wanted to do the rear shot, didn't I? So, yes, it is. Actually, two more after this item uh, to go. Again, this is definitely a, very much a secretary look, and uh, so um, yeah, definitely wear this blouse to the office. So, we'll get on to the other blouses next. Right, this blouse is by Fashion Extra and uh, or is it Fashion Plus? I think I'm not sure. I'll see on the label. And uh, it's a uh, size 24, so it's very big on me, of course. You can see here. Um, so of course it's uh, again it's sort of um, kind of like a satin shirt um, style. And uh, again, I suppose you never know. You could get some guys could wear this as well. Of course, it probably. Um, nobody probably might not tell really, um, so it's especially when it's fastened up like that. Uh, so yeah, it's got certainly larger cuffs here, and uh, it does look very shirt-like. So yeah, again, so you never know. So you could get um, yeah. So it's kind of a, almost unisex, of course. Obviously, of course, it, uh, the buttons are on the left, so it fastens the, the ladies' way if you like. But I don't think anybody really bothers these days, do they? I don't think people really notice that much. And, um, but again, yeah, so if you um, like satin shirts and uh, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. Again, it's a gorgeous uh, purple colour as well, uh, and uh, yeah, I think it really sort of glistens in the light, really shines, and uh, I think this is uh, yeah, sort of really nice. And it's actually, even though it's a really large size, it's actually um, quite nice and comfortable to wear as well. And uh, I think yeah, this is a great ideal for office to evening party, and uh, so yeah, party season coming up. So this is uh, a sort of great outfit to wear.
So we've just got one more uh, blouse to uh, try on. So um, I might actually do that with this skirt and I might even try the shorts on as well with it as well because I think it can go quite nicely with those as well. So this is the last blouse uh, in the try on and uh, this is by I Saw It First and uh, black satin blouse and uh, it's a size 10 so it's um, just a slight smidging um, tight on me but um, not, not too tight I, mean, I could wear this um, out uh, okay but uh, which kind of uh, the uh, sleeves yeah they're a little bit shorter perhaps so again but uh, they're not not pinching so yeah so I can wear this uh, out somewhere and uh, yeah. right so let's uh, photograph this and I might do this with the shorts as well I think I think it would go quite nicely with those So this is uh, the blouse with the shorts, and uh, so yeah, so I think this is uh, works quite well. This outfit does together, and uh, so let's take a couple of photos. Right, well I hope you all enjoyed uh, this uh, video, it's um, quite a longish video I think, uh, unless I trim it down a little bit uh, in the editing. And uh, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing me model the blouses and uh, some of the items will be, I'll be selling on eBay. And uh, so yeah, and let me know which is your favourite look. Do you like uh, the um, this pencil skirt, the slightly flared out skirt or all the... Um, or the shorts and uh, so which um, kind of and which is your favorite blouse as well of course uh, so yeah so if, uh, hopefully uh, I'll do some similar videos if people like this and um, maybe I'll do some more fashion videos and uh, I've got a 1960s uh, fashion video uh, which I want to do as well I just need to get um, probably a skirt uh, for that and um, and possibly a 1960s dress as well and um, so again I did see one in Norwich uh, but it was just a little bit too small uh, it was a perfect dress but it was just um, just a little bit too small a little bit too tight I couldn't quite do it up so oops on my the light's gone off here as well <laughs> and, uh, so anyway um, right so um, anyway thank you all for watching and I uh, hope you've enjoyed this and uh, please like and subscribe and see you all uh, very soon okay bye thank you all for watching today's video i hope you've really enjoyed it and please remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to get notifications for future videos. Future videos.